today's film is Ice Queen from 2005, directed by Neil Kinsella. An archaeologist finds a female humanoid from the Ice Age and plans to sneak it away to do research and shit. Only the mercs who he hires turn on him, crash the plane near a mountain resort and the creature escapes and wants to kill people. Ice Queen is an average mid 2000s slasher film that takes the scenic route when it comes to plot structure. The film begins normally enough with frat boys and wet t-shirt contests. Normally. What the fuck am I even saying? This film begins with a fucking attack helicopter raining death on a military convoy in order to steal a vat with a naked lady in it. To just say it's a slasher film would be grossly misleading. A more accurate description would be a cheap TV clone of Predator set in a ski resort. Much is thrown into the film, including a love triangle, a killer with a complex backstory, and fake snow against many, many miniatures. There is much evidence of Genoir literacy at hand, with the film wanting to be more than about a Ford cavewoman going on a rampage. Also, the Ice Queen's design and realisation by the actress playing the part combine to make the most bizarrely erotic thing you'll see outside of a David Lynch picture. The creature arrives around in a skin-tight suit with red tubes attached and no, just me, oh okay. The actors are playing types and they all know what kind of film they are in. There is also that post-Gen X grounded self-awareness in the dialogue. The artsy experimentation had gone by 2005, however the burning desire to tell every illiterate hick watching your movie that it, them and life itself is stupid so that one can feel better about one's own neuroses is still very much on display here. The most striking element by far of Ice Cream for me was the overly elaborate setup for what is, for the majority, a paint by numbers slasher film with a high concept killer, as was part of the course for early to mid 2000s horror. We begin from what looks like the opening of a Steven Seagal movie, then move on to a 70s era disaster movie, before finally coming to what is tantamount to being a female Jack Frost. Lot of money went into this. Impressive, but strange. In conclusion, Ice Queen is a strange combination of directed DVD action and high concept horror. It feels strangely of its time and maybe it's nostalgia, but Ice Queen feels like it's everything you could want from direct-to-DVD horror at the time. It's fun, questionably ambitious and desperate to get a sequel out. I recommend it to horror fans looking for a lot of energy, but not a lot of much else. Thanks for your time, please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is Long Weekend.